Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from radical mathematics. We have to evaluate fifth root of 44 over 2 minus square root 3 minus 12. So let's get started by considering this expression equal to x first. Now raise power 5 both sides. So fifth root and power 5 will be over from RHS. We can write x power 5 equal to 44 over 2 minus square root 3 minus 12. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So we need to multiply here with 2 plus square root 3 in the denominator and in the numerator. Now you can see this is a minus b times a plus b form. So here in the denominator we can use difference of two squares formula. So we can write 2 square minus square root 3 whole square. This will be equal to 4 minus 3. So denominator will be 1. So I can write x power 5 equal to 44 times 2 plus square root 3 minus 12 or we can simplify 88 plus 44 square root 3 minus 12. 88 minus 12 is 76 plus 44 square root 3. This is the value of x power 5. Let me write here 76 plus 44 square root 3. If we'll see the values, then this is less than 243 and greater than 32. So middle value is x power 5. 32 we can write this is 2 power 5. And 243 is 3 power 5. Now you can see our x is lying in the interval of 2 and 3. Once we will write inequality x is greater than 2 but less than 3. So in our head we can consider x should be in the interval 2 and 3. Now I will write x power 5. This was 76 plus 44 root 3 and I will assume its conjugate y power 5. This will be equal to 76 minus 44 square root 3. Now I will add both the equations. So I will write x power 5 plus y power 5. This will become 76 plus 76 152. Now we will multiply both x power 5 times y power 5 will be equal to 76 plus 44 root 3 times 76 minus 44 root 3. We can write here this is 76 square minus 44 root 3 whole square. Now 76 square is 5000. 776 minus 44 square root 3 whole square is 5808. This will come out minus 32. Let me consider this is our equation 1 and I will write our equation x y whole power 5. This is x power 5 times y power 5 equal to minus 32. And this we will write minus 2 raised to the power 5. For real xy value, once we will take fifth root both sides, we will get xy equal to minus 2. And this equation we will call equation 2. Let me write our first equation x power 5 plus y power 5 equal to 152. 
Now from equation 2, I will calculate the value of y. This will be equal to minus 2 over x. And this value we are applying here. So I can write x power 5 plus minus 2 over x whole power 5 equal to 152. Or I can write x power 5 minus 2 power 5 is 32 over x power 5 equal to 152. Let me say this is our equation number 3. Now I will use substitution. Let us consider x minus 2 over x. This is equal to a. Now we can apply the condition on a here. Once x is lying in the interval 2 and 3, then x minus 2 over x, which is a, must be positive. Now I will calculate x minus 2 over x equal to a. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So I will write x minus 2 over x whole square equal to a square. So I can write x square plus 4 over x square minus 4 equal to a square. So from here x square plus 4 over x square will be equal to a square plus 4. Now we will consider cubing both sides. Whole cube, whole cube. Let us apply a minus b whole cube formula. We know that x cube minus 2 over x whole cube. So I will write 8 over x cube minus 3ab. So minus 6 times x minus 2 over x which is a equal to a cube. Or I can write x cube minus 8 over x cube equal to a cube plus 6a. I will call this is equation 4. This is equation 5. Multiply both the equations. So I will multiply x square plus 4 over x square times x cube minus 8 over x cube equal to a square plus 4 times a cube plus 6a. Let us multiply. I will get here x power 5 minus 32 over x power 5. Now cross product terms. We will get 8 times x square over x cube with minus sign. So I will write here minus 8 over x. And first term means 4 over x square times x cube will give us 4x. Right hand side will write a square plus 4 times a cube plus 6a. Now I will take 4 common from here. So we will get x power 5 minus 32 over x power 5. Once 4 is common, we will get in the bracket x minus 2 over x. And then our RHS a square plus 4 times a cube plus 6a. Now you can see here I am going to put a and this is equation number 3 which is 152. So I will write 152 plus 4a equal to a square plus 4 times a cube plus 6a. Now I will expand RHS, multiply and we will get our quintic equation as a power 5 plus 10a cube plus 20a minus 152 equal to 0.
Now I will find factors of 152. So I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8 and so on. If I will plug in A equal to 1, will it satisfy? Let's check. 1 plus 10 plus 20 minus 152. No, it won't. Let me put A equal to 2. So I will get 32 plus 80 plus 40 minus 152. Yes, this is true. So I can say A equal to 2 is our base solution or first solution. So I will write our A equal to 2 solution and then we will use synthetic division method once again. So I will write here all the coefficients of quintic equation. So I will write 1, 0, 10, 0, 20, minus 152 with base solution 2. So leading term I will write as it is 1. Now we have to multiply 2 with 1, 2. Addition will be 2. 2 times 2 is 4. We will get 14 here. 2 times 14 is 28. We will get addition 28 here. 2 times 28 is 56. Addition will be 76. 2 times 76 is 152. Addition will be 0. Now I will write quartic equation as we have coefficients 1, 2, 14, 28, 76. So plus 2a cube plus 14a square plus 28a plus 76 equal to 0. As we can see all the coefficients of this quartic equation we can see here it is positive. So the real value of a which will satisfy this equation would be a negative. But restriction on a was a must be positive. So we will reject this quartic equation. So accepted a would be a equal to 2. Now a was our substitution if I will write. a was x minus 2 over x. This was equal to 2. Let's simplify LHS. x square minus 2 over x equal to 2 or x square minus 2x minus 2 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation. x square minus 2x minus 2 equal to 0. So I can write x square minus 2x equal to 2. Let's add 1 to both sides. So LHS will be x minus 1 whole square. RHS will be 3. Now we will take a square root both sides. We will get x minus 1 equal to plus minus square root 3. Or I can write x will be equal to 1 plus root 3. First solution and second solution will be 1 minus root 3. Now there was condition on x. x was in the interval 2 and 3. If you will see root 3 is 1.732. So this is negative. We will reject this solution and this will be accepted as it is lying in the interval 2 and 3. So I will write our answer will be 1 plus square root 3. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.